Hello everybody, welcome. We are here today at Animal Kingdom and we are filming on the go today because we do not have a lot of time. Didn't actually think we were even gonna get to come here today because we were running so late and the park closes like really soon. Plus we have a thunderstorm right above us that's been threatening to dump buckets of water on us. I couldn't be more excited to actually be here. I don't know what we're gonna be able to actually do with the amount of time we have. So we're having a shoot and go on the fly today. We are really gonna be running around here trying to find things to do. Right now, there's only five attractions open in the entire park. There's only five things to do right now in all the park because the rain and everything's starting to close because it's so late. Like, I don't even, I don't even know what we're gonna do, but like all the expeditions are closed. Uh, Expedition Everest is closed because it's gonna rain. So, I don't know, let's find something. No matter what the weather's like, and no matter how much time there is left, there's always one thing we can do, and that is eat. eat. <laughs> And I'm pretty sure they have a brand new uh, colorful like pride treat in here that I want to try. So let's see if we can grab it. Another cupcake, apparently. <laughs> I was like, not a cupcake. <laughs> ah, let's just see how this cupcake goes, shall we? I don't know. Like we can't seem to get a real good cupcake no. at anywhere in Disney World. So I'm a little skeptical, but um, it looks cute. Let's take a look. This is the pride cupcake. I kind of think it looks like a mess. It is kind of messy, I'm not gonna lie. Like, this chocolate thing keeps falling. There's a bird right behind us. It's probably trying to get our cupcake. Honestly, it could probably have the cupcake. I feel like after one bite, I'm gonna be like, you can have the cupcake. No, but we'll find out. We'll feed the wildlife. Oh. I mean, I wouldn't give it to it, but it probably wants the cupcake. Uh, yeah, anyway, I mean, it's at least it's colorful, but I do feel like it's kind of messy. This is kind of like, it's like really big and it's floppy. It's like thin, look at it. And it just keeps falling and I'm like just like smearing it everywhere so whatever let's just set that aside uh, this is the pride cupcake I don't know there was no description so I have no idea what's even in it I don't know what flavors it's supposed to be we're just gonna try and open this thing up hopefully it's it's less of a disaster as that red cupcake that we had to open it looks like a mess all right it's getting it's already messy it looks like Looks like it's gonna be like vanilla cupcake underneath, so. That red one, what was that, Hollywood Studios? Was it a Pride Cupcake too? Yeah, that one was a, that one was kind of a bust too. This is pretty heavy. This one looks like a yeah. confetti cupcake. Yeah, it's like a funfetti, confetti cupcake or whatever, vanilla, oh, what's in there? Oh, there, there's something in the bottom, check that out. Careful, you're gonna drop them. Don't looks like, I think it'll be, it'll be all right. And if, I'll probably, I'll probably improve it if it actually drops everywhere. Um, it looks like it has some sort of cream in the middle. I don't know. Okay, I found the description. Uh, it says rainbow sprinkled vanilla cake. So like kind of a confetti cake. Cotton candy mousse. I'm guessing that's the stuff in the middle maybe. Vanilla buttercream, zebra, rainbow print, white chocolate Mickey. $5.99 for this cupcake. Um, we'll see if it's buttercream because the last one that said it was buttercream was definitely not. All right, let's just dig in here and see if I can get a piece of this. Well, I got the outside. I didn't get any of the cream on the inside. We'll hit that next. See if you can get a, go ahead and get a, a bite there. See if you can get into that middle section, yeah. Some of that mousse. No. I feel like there's, yeah, I feel like there's not that much mousse in the middle. It's like yeah. tiny, tiny glob. Yeah. All right, here we go. It's not buttercream. It really isn't buttercream at all. Try some of this mousse. No, I literally just tried the mousse and there was no cotton candy flavor to it all. And in fact, it almost just tastes like nothing. Yeah. Like I didn't even get like a lot of sugary flavor, no. nothing. 
I'm trying this buttercream. At least this isn't the whipped cream buttercream. This is like more of the like standard icing, but it's not buttercream. No. It just tastes like vanilla wedding cake icing. You know what I mean? It's just that. That bird right there. I don't think you know. Check this out. When I was turning the camera over, his beak was literally touching the table. And then he started walking away. Um, yeah, I mean, it's okay. I feel like the flavor of the icing is just kind of like vanilla. Yeah, but it's a lot, It's. A, I feel like it's a lot better than the one at Hollywood Studios, so I do think it's better. I mean, I don't know what I think. I, I, I just, there's nothing really special about it at all. <clears throat> it just tastes like a straight vanilla cupcake. I'm not getting any other flavors at all. Um, and even the vanilla is not even like straight vanilla, it's just sugar. That's just making me thirsty. Just tastes, it's a, you know what, it's, it just tastes like a powdered sugar cupcake. Yeah. The whole thing just tastes like powdered sugar. Yeah. Yep. But I kind of I kind of like it. We ate it all, <laughs> so yeah. it couldn't be that bad. <laughs> I think it's okay. I'm distracted where we're sitting because I feel like there's all kind of wildlife around us, like I mean, rumbling we are around in kingdom. the trees and the bushes and stuff. It's actually a good spot. Look at this little yeah. like pond behind yeah, us or whatever cute. this is. It's cute. I, I, actually, we've never even been down here. Nope. First As time. we were walking down, I was like, huh? <laughs> I was like, this is kind of a cute spot right here. Yeah. Um, and actually over there, there's um, there's like a railing. Um, actually, I'll take the video over there, but there's a railing, like a seating area and a railing that has a really good view of the harbor. I don't know why I called it a harbor. Isn't that like an ocean a of the pond you, or the little, yeah. what's that? What is that called? The lake. The little pond, the lake, the, the, the amphitheater area for like where Kite Tails is. So I actually think, feel like you could sit over there and get a good view of Kite Tails. Anyway, um, I digress. The cupcake was pretty decent. I'm actually surprised. It was a decent, it was an okay cupcake. I wouldn't get it again. $5.99, I don't think it's worth $5.99. There's nothing special about it, just a vanilla cupcake. But it, what did I say, cupcake? <laughs> I said cupcake. But if you just want a straight vanilla cupcake that's kind of cute and it gets a little bit of a sugar fix, this is a good one compared to some of the busted ones we've had. So let's get moving and find something to do because all the rides are closed. I think we're probably going to head to Dinosaur because you know that's going to be gone, at least it's indoor. And then tough to be a bug too. That's probably always a safe one to do. I want to do Safari. Navi River's probably open. I love, I love Navi, but I bet right now it has a long way. Oh, There's yeah. totally an alligator in there. Alligator. We're always looking for alligators when we're at Disney, and we can't ever seem to find any and then happen to just look over here. But anyway, this is what I was talking about. So we're in this pavilion here, uh, right behind Flame Tree Barbecue, and look at the view. Like, this is a pretty good view of, like, kite tails um, and whatever else they end up having right here. And it's um, it's shaded. So there's like a, an overhang here. So you can kind of just like grab some food, eat. Yeah, there is a cute little rainbow there behind Expedition Everest. Let me see if I can get it all. Alligator in the shot, Expedition Everest, and rainbow. That's funny. We're literally always looking for gators in Disney and we never can find them and there he is. Hello, welcome to Florida, where the sun is brightly shining right behind me while I'm simultaneously getting rained on. Yeah, that's Florida and Hawaii for you. That's pretty much it. Bright, beautiful sun, blue sky above me, and I'm getting rained on. I love how we're at Animal Kingdom, surrounded by elephants and kangaroos and huge, giant American crocodiles, tigers, lions, and we get so excited over some little tiny baby alligator <laughs> just because it was swimming. Because it was in the wild! I'm always looking for them. The alligator in the wild, that's so much more, I feel like it's more exciting than like the penned up ones. And then we have ginormous Bert over here, the American crocodile. Yeah. It's just more exciting for me when I see a, an alligator in the wild. Yep. Um, but that little, I'm kind of sad though because I feel like that little baby alligator is going to get, once they see it, it's going to get relocated quote unquote and we'll just we'll just stop it there so does everybody watching love the dinosaur ride as much as I do I love this ride I feel like it's I feel like it's like underrated I feel like people just kind of ignore it 
The last time we rode this, I got a video clip of the little head in the upper left-hand corner during the ride, which is sort of the replacement dinosaur for the main animatronic. I wonder if he'll be there again today. Uh, there's a lot of watching this pre-show going on right here, isn't there? Every time we ride this ride, I always think of Countdown to Extinction. You can see right there it says CTX Rover on the actual vehicles there. That's because that's the homage to Countdown to Extinction. It still exists on the actual rovers. It still says Countdown to Extinction, CTX, uh, which was the previous name for this, uh, for this attraction, where they changed it to Dinosaur when the movie Dinosaur came out. All right, let's ride Dinosaur. I am so excited. I love this ride. Oh, no one's sitting there. I'm sitting on the end there. The end seat is where it's at in the back. Thing you get tossed around like crazy. So she's got because literally this seat is right above the back wheel right here. Can I see it? See it down there. So because this seat's above the back wheel, and then her seat over there is behind, is above that back wheel. It's very choppy right here. So when it says it can get kind of choppy out there in the pre-show. They're talking about this seat and that seat. You will literally get thrown around everywhere. Not hard to get Just little one. Uh, there was a little girl in our truck. She was screaming. She was good. She was good until the dinosaur, the one that starts to chase you, like on the left side, when it like starts coming, because she was over there on the left side. Man, she freaked out. And then she was screaming the whole rest of the ride. <laughs> that was pretty funny. Uh, but yeah, the busted dinosaur was there again, his little, his little head in the crab. Although this time at the scrim or whatever, um, the little thing that like, um, Hides the big dinosaur on the right. I could see his head above it. <coughs> like part of his head was sticking up above it. I could see it. So he's still there. He's just either not working or he's um, they're repainting him or something. I don't know. Let's do Expedition Everest. It has reopened. So I want to ride it. It's only a 10 minute wait. Um, so pretty much walk on. That's exciting. I love this ride. And I don't know why a lot of times it doesn't have a wait. Um, I guess because it has pretty much like a high throughput, like you can put a lot of people through on this ride really quickly. So I feel like a lot of times it doesn't have a long wait. And it's such a good roller coaster. Um, we really should probably score this roller coaster. We need to do like a versus series um, and use this attraction against something else. Because I feel like it would get really high marks, especially because the wait time is usually so low for such a good ride. Wait time tends to drag some of our other attractions scoring down. Because even though it's an amazing attraction, one of the scoring mechanisms that we use is how bad is the wait time? How hard is it to get on the ride? But this ride has got it all. Like it's got a low wait time usually. Ooh, look at that Bigfoot or Yeti. It's got a low wait time, plus it's an awesome ride. It's got good theming. I feel like it would do well. And look, we're already, like we're literally already getting on the ride. Like this was literally walk on. Good news, we only had to wait one extra train for the front. I feel like that's always a win. That's definitely worth one train extra weight to sit in the front on this ride. Because on this ride, the front row is the back row in the beginning, and then it like and, and then it's the front row on the big hill. So like you get both, you get both like the front row feeling and the back row feeling. Front row, always my favorite. On this ride, I just think there's nothing better than the front row. I'm excited to ride this. I didn't think we we're gonna get to ride it today, and we haven't ridden it for a bit. What do you think? but it closes at 7.30. It was literally five minutes away and we were on the other side of the park. I was like, it, I was like, it, it's not happening, folks. Um, Woohoo! I feel like this is like the easy part of the coaster. It's like a smooth little easy ride. Ugh. It's such a good view from up here too. 
Over on the left, you can see like Epcot, Hollywood Studios. You can see Pandora over there. It's such a good view. Woohoo! I wonder if the bird will be broken. What do you think? Are you betting? Let's take bets. I say it's broken. I say it's broken. You say it's broken. Let's see, is it moving? Is it going anywhere? Nope, it's broken. I mean, look at this view. It's a crazy view. Oh goodness. Oh, here we go. Oh, oh. Was it? it was fun. <laughs> Man, it's, I feel like I feel like getting right is intense sometimes. You were making me nervous with the camera. I thought he was gonna lose. <laughs> nah. Nah, it's like anchored to my arm. It's good. This ain't going anywhere. Last yeah, I need a breather now. He sometimes wants to ride this twice in a row, and then I get nauseous. So hopefully that doesn't happen. Today. Yeah, I guess we won't be. We don't, I don't think we have time anyway. That backwards part, I tell you what, every time. Uh, it gets me like down the gut, you know, you get that like uh, like tingly feeling, you know what I'm talking about? That, like like that tickle. Mm -hmm. We got our friends from up right here in front of the feathered flight, feathered friends in flight show. Hello. Look how cute this face is. I was gonna squish it. We made our way all the way over here to Pandora on the off chance that Navi River Ride would not have a long wait. So we're risking it for the biscuit. It said it was a 65 minute wait when we started walking over here. But the park's about to close and historically there hasn't really been a line right when the park's been about to close regardless of what the wait time says. So, oh, and sure enough, it only says 15 minutes now. So we were right and it paid off. So I'm glad we didn't waste our time walking over here, although it's really not a waste of time regardless because it's so cute in this area. It's always fun to walk through Pandora. Uh, now, Flight of Passage set a two-hour wait, and I really just wasn't about that because even if the wait time is wrong, which I'm sure it is, it's probably still 45 minutes to an hour. And I'm just not really in the mood to wait 45 minutes to an hour. And I mean, this really is walk-on, so from a 65-minute wait, and we walked over here, and it says 15, and it's actually zero, so hello. How you doing? Yay, I love this ride. I don't think we're going to have enough time to ride it twice in a row, though, like last time, because it's really just not enough time left in the night. Believe it or not, there's actually something that I've never seen before that I saw the last time we rode this, and I want to get a video of it. I mean, it's near the end. I'm curious if anybody else has noticed this. Now we're coming up on the part that I've never noticed before. I don't know why, but if you look at these like branches above us, you see all these like glowing vines, almost like veins, if you will. If you pay attention, they're all coming from this main tree right here where she's sitting. Um, and it's kind of like that whole like the entire ecosystem the whole world is connected And then if you look over here like you can see some of these vines and stuff right in here 
and they're sort of glowing and pulsing. If you look carefully, they're actually all over this entire area. So this tree, you can see how it's like extending its life all throughout the entire forest. And then it even extends into this cave here. I think that's really cool. I mean, I've always seen these like lit up vines. I've always seen that, but I never really realized it was all like connected to that main tree back there. So we're in Wind Traders and I was walking through um, and I noticed they have a new sweatshirt. It's a little crop sweatshirt in here. It is $64.99, which is a lot, but it's a quality material. It's very, very cute. It has the teal, purple, lavender, and navy. Um, yeah, and you do get your annual pass discount on this. And what I think is really cute, when you, if you notice, it's actually the Pandora Park. So you see, see things like Pongu Pongu, the moss wall, you see the goblin thistle, the stone arch. Um, actually, I don't know what some of these things even are. I guess those are things in here. Floating mountains, but it's all elements of actual Pandora world um, that we're in right now. So it's not just like Avatar, it's actually Pandora, which I think is really cute. It's my precious. <laughs> we got a lot done. And we were being slow. I mean. I was walking around very lazy. Lazily. We had like we had like a total of an hour in the park to do everything that we wanted to do. Um, we got a cupcake, which by the way, I kind of feel now I'm, I keep I keep thinking back to it. I feel like I was a little harsh on the cupcake. I kind of liked it. Well, it didn't, it didn't taste like what it said it was going to. Yeah, taste. I I like wedding cake icing. I don't know how else to describe it other than wedding cake icing. I it's one of my favorite icing types, and it was pretty reminiscent of like that style of icing. Um, and I really just, I like that. And then the, the cupcake itself wasn't overly dense. It was actually pretty decent. It just, and then, but the thing in the middle, the cotton candy thing was, I, I feel like that was, that was kind of, I feel like that was the thing that was a letdown. Yeah. That's and then it's, anything. yeah, and then it said it was supposed to be buttercream, but it wasn't buttercream. So, um, but I actually like the cupcake. So I'm going back on it now and I'm saying it's actually a pretty decent cupcake. I would go for it if you like vanilla cupcakes. Um, but yeah, we got cupcakes. We did Dinosaur, Expedition Everest, and Navi River. And, and we did a little bit of shopping. We got a lot of stuff done in an hour, I feel like. so. And the rain held off, so we didn't get wet. So, bonus. I mean, it did rain a little bit, but it was like sprinkling. So, anyhow, that's all we got for you. So, I hope you've enjoyed this super fast run around the block here at Animal Kingdom. We had a blast. Um, and we will see you again tomorrow. Don't forget to tune in. Hit that subscribe button. Uh, until we see you. The noble way. It's easy way. Bye bye, everybody. <laughs>